This is Carol, Sandra. Hello. <laughs> this is Sister Jackson. This is her church. And this is the most Sonny famous. Thornton. Yeah, he knows a lot of history. Uh, he's oh, the good. main. He's the main uh, uh, character. Uh, 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 <laughs>36 and Grand Avenue. And he happened to be walking out South Eaton Town one night around about 5 o'clock, they say, after work. And he got halfway, I guess, by somewhere by Buttonwood Avenue or something. And it was a, a white lady there, and she fell. And he went to help her. And then helped me, helped her on her feet, and then he went on about home. And he went down Buttonwood to Grant, and he started cooking, and he was cooking. And it was around about, I guess they say about 6.30, 7 o'clock. There was a whole bunch of white men out in front of uh, his house, asking him to come outside. And he said, you know, he came outside. When he came out, they took him, took him to the jail up in... Eaton Town, which is uh, at that time was Colvin Alley. That's where the old jail was. Right down the water. Yeah, it was a more of a slope and a hill. But since they put this place in, it's less than that. But it was sort of square in here. And he was in here. Uh, there had been some men drinking at a saloon called Allen's Saloon. The original building is actually still there in Eaton Town. Um, and uh, the men had been drinking there, and they tied a rope inside the saloon. And, um, and they were left there when the saloon closed at about 12 o'clock, and that's when they did the lynching. And it actually coincided that the, the, um, the saloon closed at 12, and he was lynched, or, you know, the attack happened soon after that. They knocked the door down, drug him out, beat him up, brought him back out south Eaton Town. Used to be a buttonwood tree by Throckmorton Avenue and South Street, I think it was. Uh, by uh, Randall's, uh, I think old man Randall lived there, he had the fence. And it was a big buttonwood tree and that's the tree that they were supposed to have hung Mingo Jack from. 
right over here where this sign is, a cross sign, was a big tree used to be there, and that's where they hung Mingo Jack. They walked him straight down South Street here, and then hung him here. What was the significance of hanging him here? Was there any, or just a, a tree? This was the only big tree at the time that they could reach and, and, and hang him. say that the grave is where uh, Mingo Jack was supposed to have been buried. They're where the house sits up on the hill. Where it's not the there anymore. <laughs> it's a liquor store in there. It's a little... Uh, oh, you mean at the Locust Cemetery? Yeah. yeah. And, and, not, and, and not the White Ridge. Oh, oh yeah, White Ridge. Not Locust White Ridge. No. Oh, Ridge. After you go across Wyckoff Road. Locust Road. Locust Road. Locust Road. Locust Road. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, right, right. Uh, Wyckoff Road, there's a liquor store, there's a, yeah. strip, mall. There's a strip mall. Yeah. Yeah. Well, right behind the strip mall is a cemetery. Right. Oh, wow. And that's where he was supposed to have been buried. Because oh. you got to remember, all, all these houses and stuff wasn't here, all that was woods. Mm -hmm. And it was only about three houses down here at that time. Why is there speculation as to where he's buried? Why wouldn't they know? Where he was buried? Yeah. I mean, reading the New York Times article from the day, it was very detailed about saying like he was laid out in his home on a on a board and two right. barrels, and so was that was it, that was very detailed. But I'm just like, so what happens to the body from that point? That could have been someplace else. Overcrowding. They moved. It was moved. Uh. There's an article from 1899 in um, the Red Bank Registry, or Red Bank Register, and uh, they said that um, a lot of the bodies that were in Locust Grove were moved to White Ridge. Uh, but it was uncertain, like a lot, not, not all of them were moved because there's still a cemetery over there, so it's kind of uncertain whether it was moved or not. Chances are it wasn't moved because it said in the article they couldn't locate the grave. It used to be uh, marked by uh, horse bones, I guess, yeah. and then they had disappeared, and so chances are he's probably still over there.